I'm Rich Greb and we're Camera Motion Research. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the features and the operation of our Command View sets. We developed the Command View sets to meet a need in drone operations, public safety and also industrial inspection, a need to support the operations with a ground-based wireless video system that sends video from the drone pilot or his drone controller to a remote command site. The command site could be uh, inside a vehicle or it could be standalone uh, with an incident commander. So let's take a look at the command view. Inside the lid of the Pelican case is a 15.6 inch, very high quality monitor, 1920 1080p, and it has 1000 nits brightness, so it's daylight viewable. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the protective cover here. We'll take a look at what's inside. So, First, up front, there are two 150 watt hour V-mount batteries. Each battery will power the unit for about four and a half hours. Using both batteries, you get nine hours of operation. The batteries come with two chargers, and there's room in the case, actually, to conveniently store one of the chargers right here. Then, right here is a micro SD card recorder. In the center is the control chassis, which has the only power switch to turn the unit on. It has an LED indicator for uh, battery status, both bars and percent remaining battery. There is a convenient USB charging uh, port, actually two USB charging ports, uh, 2.4 amps rated each. And finally, there's an HDMI out connector so that you can take the HDMI signal out of the command view into another monitor or any other HDMI device. Finally, right here is probably the most important component. This is the Amimon Connects Fusion Receiver. So um, the receiver has 15 feet of HDMI and power cable. So uh, if you were mounting the command view inside a vehicle, you probably would want to take the receiver outside the vehicle, mount it on a boom or whatever on the roof of the vehicle, and you have plenty of cable to do that. But you can also conveniently mount it right on the lid of the command view, which is what I'm gonna do right now for this demonstration. So it mounts, it has a standard one quarter 20 uh, mounting stud and about three turns here We'll get this screwed into the lid and locked. Okay, there we are. I'm gonna drop this protective cover back down. To start up the unit, turn it on, there's one power switch. I'll switch it over to the battery A position. Takes about 10 seconds for the system to power up and also to include linking the transmitter, which happens to be on the camera shooting this video, to the receiver. To uh, switch to the B battery, you simply turn it off and over to the B battery position. And again, there's the 10 second power up. What I wanna demonstrate also is the HDMI out port. So I'm gonna plug an HDMI cable in. This cable goes to the larger TV right behind the unit. Should show up there and there it is. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. Oh, I'll, I'll demonstrate one more thing. I mentioned the micro SD card recorder. It's normally in a solid blue, and you just press it to start recording, and it goes to the slow flashing red, creating a new video file that it's storing on the card inside. And you turn it off the same way. I'd like to talk about now 
basically the power management of the system. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this HDMI cable. So you don't have to take the batteries out of the command view case to charge them. There's a convenient charging ports right over here. I'm going to go ahead and take one of the batteries out um, so that I can demonstrate a couple of different modes of operation. Now it's going to be, I think, good to see um, the V-mount batteries also have a Velcro strap which we have added to provide additional security. To release the battery, you, you just press the battery plate button down, slide it over, and take it out. And likewise, when you're reinserting a battery, you have it to the left a little bit, get it into position, slide it over, and then reattach the Velcro strap. So I'm going to take this one back out. Let's put this right over here. So now, and I'll slide over here. This is one of the two battery chargers. We provide a little adapter here. If you took the battery out, you would put, separate this and plug the D-tap right into the battery to charge it. But in this case, I'm going to now plug it into the, well, I'll start with the A port. So we're on, let me go on the A battery. Whoops. We're on the A battery. We'll get the power up here. I'm going to go ahead and close this protective lid. So we're charging the A battery and we're also drawing power from it. The uh, power drawn from the charger at this point depends on the state of charge of the A battery and it's splitting between the charger and the battery itself. There's no battery in the B slot. Now this is another feature. Of course, if you have AC available through an inverter or whatever, I'm going to plug the charger into the B battery charging port and switch over to B. So now the command view is getting all of its power from this external charger. And you should see it coming up in a second. There it is. That takes care of talking about the power management. Oh, and I didn't also didn't mention, I guess, that the control chassis shows the battery status of the battery being used. But you can check, all right, the status of the other battery by pressing the button on each battery itself separately. So we can see the charge on the B battery just so we know what it is. Now, one more thing I want to talk about and explain is, okay, that's the receiver. What about the transmitter? So this is the Amimon Connects Mini Transmitter. It's very small, very light, easily attached. It's perfect to mount on the back of a DJI Crystal Sky monitor. Um, we provide a small lithium ion battery that provides about four hours of operation. So you can Velcro these things, and we have custom cables to connect between them. Or we also have cages, which allow you to mount this transmitter uh, to almost anything. Cages have 1 quarter 20 uh, mounting locations. The Amimon Connects Mini Transmitter and Fusion Receiver are actually a fantastic wireless video system. The range is 3,300 feet line of sight. Going through walls, building, and so on, it, that's going to be reduced. But they provide a zero latency, secure encrypted video, all the way up to 1080p 60. 11 channels, including the DFS channels. It's a very, very robust system. There probably isn't anything really any better than this in terms of the wireless performance. So combined with the uh, features of the command view set itself and the flexibility of using this mini transmitter, it makes a great system. You can see more information about contacting us below. Thank you for watching this video.